Hi, my name is Cody Hosterman, and I'm the technical director at Pure Storage for our VMware solutions. And I'm here with... Hi, my name is Anthony Ferrario. I'm the product manager here at Pure for our VMware solutions. And the topic we're going to discuss right now is about a VMware product called vRealize Automation. What is VRA? Basically, VRA is a tool that VMware provides to allow you to take all of your VMware infrastructure and provide it as a service to your end customers. So, there's another product called vRealize Orchestrator that allows you to run workflows. How is VRA different than VRO? Good question. So VRO allows you to create these workflows, but what VRA really does is it allows you to package those up and provide those through a nice service-based experience to the end user. So if I want an end user that owns a VM to be able to, I don't know, restore one of their virtual disks, but that's it. That's a good way of leveraging like a VRO workflow that does it, but kind of control what they can see and do. Exactly. You know, you can also put all sorts of, you know, trappings around that, whether who has access to it. You could, you know, allow them to do it for specific VMs. You know, you have a lot of options. Because VRA allows you to pretty much take a VRO workflow and assign it to a user so they can, you can say, you can run it in this way against this object at this time and, and this mechanism. Exactly. Because uh, a lot of organizations will have very custom kind of permissions that they need to build, and sometimes the underlying infrastructure may not have the exact option they want, right? Well, I want them to be able to create snapshots, but not between 7 a.m. and 8 a.m., or whatever it might happen to be. Right. And so vRealize Automation can allow you to kind of make those types of controls. Right, and you can hook it in with other VMware tools and do things like chargeback. You know, there's a lot of things you can associate with this to provide a sort of holistic service experience. And vRealize Orchestrator works with vRealize Automation through something called infrastructure as a service, or sometimes called anything as a service. Right, so you can take in VRO workflows and either provide them as a direct catalog item. Right, someone clicks on a little icon that says create a data store, or they have a VM in their item inventory and they say, oh, add a virtual disk to this, or snapshot and restore it, or resize it, or put it on a different storage infrastructure. Right, but it allows you to control the kind of the inputs. Yeah, I mean, as long as you set this up under the hood that way, that's the way it'll be exposed. But it's not like it's opening the entire set of options in VRO without, you know, without your ability to control it. So anything you can do in VRO, you can then do in VRA, but in kind of any way you want. If you want them to only be able to run at this time or against this object or against um, or approvals, right? Yep. If you want someone to approve it somewhere down the stack before it happens, so they don't have to email you, can I run this, and say, yes, you can. They literally run the workflow or whatever in VRA. It gets held by VRA until an administrator approves it, and then VRO actually does it. Yep. Takes your, takes your IT infrastructure operation and turns it into a service provider. Yep. And in many ways, um, automation and security are go, to get, go together quite well, right? Because you can say, you can't see this, you can't do this, right? And so it's kind of security through kind of uh, ab obfuscation or something like that, right? Um, where it, they, you only, they're only allowed to do what you want them to do and they're only allowed to see what you want them to see. Right. And so vRealize Automation is a great way of leveraging that, especially when you have vRealize Orchestrator underneath it. And since the Flash Array has a vRealize Orchestrator plugin, right, really any workflow or thing you might want to do, configuration change you might want to do on the array, you can then offer that up as a service or a feature or an action inside of VRA for an end user. Yeah. So let's take a look at a demonstration of what can be done here. Yeah, let's look at it. So what we're looking at here is the VRA interface, and I have a Windows machine that I have provisioned through VRA. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to accidentally delete a file. Oops. Oops. <laughs> I need to get that file back. That's my PowerPoint. I'm using that tonight. And so inside of my Windows guest, I'm like, well, I'm going to offline that because I want to refresh this file system that has it. And I'll click on my. Windows VM inside of vRealize Automation, and I'll run one of my actions. And what this action is, it's a VRO workflow that I see inside of my GUI. And you see it's very limited. I only see the information that I want the, that end user to be able to see. I choose the virtual disk that I want restored, and it goes down to VRO, and it runs that restore. And because this VM's on vVols, this restore is really simple, right? It just takes the volume that's that virtual disk, it takes the snapshot and then just overwrites it, right? There's no crazy orchestration that needs to be done to achieve this because vVols makes it so much simpler. So when I online my file system again, bam, it's back, right? Very quick and very simple. And we can even prove out that simplicity by going around VRA. 
Right? We'll do the same thing. We'll delete that file accidentally again, and I want to restore it, but let's do it directly on the array. Let's skip the orchestration layer. How, how difficult is this to do manually? Well, we go to my array. We see my vvols here. I see my VM. This one vvol I want to restore has a snapshot. I click restore. It restores that point in time. I go back to vRealize Automation, online it again. Then I look at my file system. And bam, the file's back, right? So the, the, the process with vVols is also very simple, but also with our VRO workflow, you don't even have to do the simple orchestration, it's built right into it. And you can provide that service to an end user. So if they make a mistake, or they want to do a restore, or, or they can bring up a copy and pull a single file out if they want to, it's really easy to offer that up to an end user using vRealize Orchestrator and the infrastructure as a service integration with VRA, right? So whatever you want them to do, however you want them to do that, you can provide that service so they no longer have to wait to get what they need. Yeah, you know, it looks, you know, you're taking Pure, you're taking VMware, you're taking vRealize Orchestrator, and you're combining all of this and sitting it inside of vRealize Automation to provide that experience. Exactly, and vRealize Automation isn't just around your VMs and VMware or your storage and VRO. It can manage a lot of things. It can manage your container environment. It can, it can manage public cloud virtual machines, right? So you can bring and move your data, whatever your array allows you to do, whatever your VMware environment allows you to do, whatever environment you have to access can also be managed in VRA. So VRA is not just self-service for VMware, it's for your entire infrastructure. And the Pure Storage plugin for VRO brings the Pure part of that in quite nicely. Yeah. So if you want any more information about vRealize Automation and the Pure Storage integration, please check out the links provided along with this video, and of course, purestorage.com. Thanks a lot, Anthony. Thanks, Cody.